Hey everyone, just want to make a quick video. I've tried a couple of times here and uh, went too long and then uh, had the alarm interrupted and stuff. So obviously I was off track in the, in the video. This is kind of a follow up to the idea of thinking positive. And specifically the idea of uh, personal development, self-improvement. Now at a very, you know, human level or psychological level, this, this appears to be very necessary. Um, we need to grow. You know, we need to learn, we need to uh, adapt and improve, learn new skills, um, things like this. But there's also an, an inherent flaw, and that's the part I want to address. And that flaw, much like positive thinking, that flaw is that for so many people now, they've become almost addicted to self-improvement, self-development. And the problem with uh, this paradigm is that there's a suggestion or an implication that there's something wrong with you that needs improving. And the truth is there's not. Now, I'm not talking about dysfunctional behaviors or damaging or abusive behaviors or, or emotional patterns, etc. Those need to be addressed. But who you are, your essence, your essential self, your most authentic self, There's nothing wrong with you. Nothing that needs to be fixed. Nothing that needs to be improved. Nothing that needs to be changed. Who you are, if you can tap into it, that essential self that's underneath all the conditioning, underneath all the unconscious pain and trauma and self-images and so forth. The more we tap into that, which is the same as saying being present. Not not mindful exactly, but where presence takes over. The more present you are, the less you is there. The psychological you. And so your decisions, your actions, now come up from a very genuine place, an authentic place. And if you learn a new skill even, or make a change or make an improvement, it comes very naturally. It's not forced and it doesn't have an ulterior motive of trying to prove something or become better or good, be good enough or, you know, things like this. It becomes an expression of who you are. It happens very naturally. It happens in a way that um, is compassionate, empathetic for everybody concerned. But not because you're trying to be that way, just because it happens to be more in tune, more in alignment with who you are. And again, you know, it seems to be a work in progress. We'll realize this and then fall back into a pattern. Realize this and fall. It's like this. We become more conscious, less conscious for most of us. But this is, again, the more present we become, the more peaceful we become, the more clear we become. Because this, all this noise that most people experience. stops or lessens anyway right and so now even in difficult situations and that'll be very triggering it'll trigger all these parts all these unhealed parts for us and these beliefs and you know i'm going through something similar this way myself right now it becomes our, oppor our opportunity to meet it with presence to be present for it instead of to react and further reinforce the cycle so in essence, again, who you are does not need to be improved. It just needs to be realized. And then all the improvements that need to be made happen more effortlessly, with more clarity, with more power, with more empowerment. So I hope that makes sense. just wanted to share that with you today and wish you a wonderful day. Miigwech.